and welcome back to Purnell and Matt Play Games. I'm Purnell. I'm Matt. And this is our returning special guest. Captain Jack. And this episode we are playing Blaster Master by Sunsoft. A game that growing up as a kid, my dad got it for me out of the bargain bin at the store. Surprisingly enough, it was fantastic and it ended up being one of my favorite games as a kid. Finished it once as an adult, didn't go back to it since. So this will be my first time touching it in over a decade. How about you guys? I have no experience with this game. Um, I did a little bit of research this week. It looks tough, and uh, I have a little bit of history that uh, I'm going to share in a couple minutes. So Awesome. I did play it once or twice as a kid. I rented it. I think a friend had it. Uh, I never got it. I never understood it. Like, I, like that first level, there's so many places where you can go, and there's no clear path of where you're, where you're supposed to go, and there's that's, so many dead ends. That's the sweet and stuff. I there's just, no map. Right, there's no map, and I just didn't get it. And I was just like, why do people like this game? I just... Like like you said in the last episode about Battletoads, why do people like this game? That's what I said about this game. But oh. you are a big fan of this game, so that's, you know... Mm -hmm. I, we're, I, we're, we're about a third of the way there right now! And there we go, and I want you to sell me on it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do what I can. And hopefully you can convert me to a Blaster Master... Uh, Blast Master. Fandom. A Master Blaster who, a owns, master who blaster. owned Barter Town. Well, master own Blaster, you have to beat the game, so... Yeah. Oh, Good right. luck with that. So let's lift the embargo and play Blaster Master. <laughs> cha cha, come on! And other baby. Thunderdome references. <laughs> go! <laughs> I would go with that. Oh. Yeah. No, no exception to the rule. Unless you're under 21. <laughs> the bartender might be cruel. Yeah. <laughs> come on, baby. Chip, chip, chip. This game has a really odd story. You're a kid named Jason, whose pet frog hops out into the backyard and jumps on top of a box of radiation. And then grows to an enormous size and then jumps down a hole. Mm -hmm. Being a curious child, for some odd reason, decides I'm going to jump in after the frog and miraculously finds a giant tank buried in his backyard. Fair enough. And a suit that fits suit. perfectly. Sure. Yep. Who'd have thought? The tank is called Sophia the Third. Sophia yes. the Third. And uh, he is look, going to search for his frog Fred and has to beat uh, the mutants and their leader, the Plutonium Boss. I had read somewhere that the Japanese version doesn't have that stuff in the beginning about a frog and then it takes place on another planet and just starts out off with the tank in the cave blasting off and then going to fight aliens. Which right. Makes maybe a little bit more sense. Uh, you know what? I, I mean, know, but, I guess to sell it to American kids, it's got to be like, but I think you know, this, some kind of quirky thing or yeah, something. I think this is crazy and awesome. So this, this works Yeah, I think I think oh, yeah, that's yeah. funny. It's comic booky and yeah. uh, who uh, so. who's, who starts? Ground start. ground starter. All right. All right. So uh, well. I did some research on the internet. Oh. I uh, on Wikipedia and a couple other websites, and there's actually some shrines to Blaster Master still out there on the web. Of course. It wouldn't surprise me. This so, a uh, cult classic and then some. So Blaster it's Master cool. was uh, also known as some long Japanese name with Meta Fight. Kichi Kai Kai Meta Fight. Right. And then uh, was released in November 1988 in America. Uh, was praised for its smooth gameplay and uh, control and level designs. Uh, it's detailed and clean graphics. The music uh, was criticized for the high level of difficulty and lack of passwords or save points. And, and maps really should be included in that, too. Sounds like people who just weren't ready to embrace the greatness. I, I just think that this... It, this was kind of uh, <laughs> this is kind I of advanced. One of those people. Whoa. This is kind of advanced on so many on some f certain fronts in terms of control and graphics and and music and gameplay, but then lacks Good. some Ready. other features that other games implemented to to make them great. So I won't uh, lie, I wouldn't have minded having something like a password system right. in this game. For, for so, repeat plays yeah, I mean, and even like. Metroid had a password system. Right. And Metroid, you can basically figure out. I could, I could figure out where I was going in Metroid. I beat Metroid. Yeah. Uh, without maps and stuff. Speaking of which, uh, do you want to help me out? And tell me where I need to oh, go. Dear I don't God. want to be here all night. Oh God, <laughs> just go for it. All right. If you start getting weirdly lost, it's I'll only do what so I can. so many places you can go in the very beginning. Okay. Exactly. You gotta feel the game, man. This is your first time dabbling. Right. All right. And remember, you don't want to just avoid some of these rooms because you want to be able to, you need to go into these dungeons to power up your weapons to fight bosses and the like. If you, yeah. So even though well, you, you, don't, you don't technically need to, like, but you should. You will need to. There are some times when you should. 
Every boss so you, will kill you. Try this one? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, now so that, that's that's not always clear either. Like what what Again. exactly you're supposed to do? Now difficulty aspect number majillion gillion. No jump. Yes. Is okay. it just 3D ish Nintendo 3D ish just walking? Yeah. Now you have a health bar. You have a gunometer. And as you find icons that look like guns, yeah. it will juice your guy up to astronomical steroid type gun shooting levels. Sure. But the downside of that is your health and your weapons are sort of linked. So yeah. even though you might be thinking I have, you know, eight health bars, don't think like that. Because every time you take a hit, you will become weaker too. You'll lose gun juice. Yeah, the gun the gun okay. power goes down if you How lose health. How much of your gun do you lose per hit? One, one, one per, per one hit. to one. one yeah. Okay. Oh, like there's a gun. Yeah, see. So now no, your gun will do a little more damage, and it shoot. I believe it shoots farther yeah, too. Yeah, it does. Right. It's nice. It's what's very, it? very important. What's the H? <laughs> H for? You don't need that yet. That's if I remember correctly. There's like oh, a level hover three. Or yeah, oh, hover, level yeah. three attachment does that okay. for you. You beat bosses, and you you trick out your ride because apparently Jason okay. can is a mechanic who can work on the car you found in the trash can in his basement. Oh, right. they're just they're just like modules that you plug in. That's all. I don't know about they, you. They enable the they enable weapons that are already on the vehicle. It that's, that's, that's my theory. Am I missing an exit here, or is no? This there's it? no exit. No. Just make sure you've broken up all of those segments because there's a. I mean, there's, they don't refresh, but if you haven't hit one of them, you missed a power all up right, underneath. So if one. I power up my gun in this section and then I leave and get back, to my oh, car, it stays. It stays it with stays. you until you get the shit kicked out of you, which will happen at some point in time. Well then. Why did I come in here to get the gun? Because you need the gun. Yeah, but then if I get the shit kicked out of me, I lose it anyway. I mean, sure. From, I, and that's from what happen. I read is that Work you is. really only need to get the power-ups from bosses. It's gonna happen. Now, you'll need the gun for the bosses and just doing the dungeons. Like, without the power-ups, well, I mean, I beat, I beat the first boss with just the grenades. You a savant now? <laughs> what are you talking about? Because I know, I know, like, I pretty much try to get stuff as soon as I can, because I know eventually I'm gonna, I'm gonna take hits. And I just want to be, it's like basically saying yeah. juice up early so that when you start taking the blues. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Metroids. Yeah. Look out, they don't are bad those. landmines. Yeah, okay. don't hit those. Yeah, I think you gotta go all the way to the top and then to the right and then okay. down into the water. All right, I, I keep forgetting I can shoot up. Yeah. yeah you'll want to nice. do that often too. Especially when you start getting those freaking jerk bags and drop other jerk bags on your dome. Ah, so much of that. Yeah, this is, for me, this was my baby back in the day. Like, I... Let's hold down here, see what happens. You're yeah, the there drink. you go, that's where you want to go. And then you can ditch the vehicle. So here's a fun fact. Uh, fun fact. Between 1990 and 1991, a series of books called Worlds of Power was released by Scholastic. Oh, I remember those! Remember I used Scholastic to have that books? book. I yeah. had this game and the Wizards and Warriors one. Oh, oh cool. Nice. Yeah, so this was one of them, and they I had, had like, Ninja Gaiden and Bionic Master. Commando. They were very oh, nice. odd books. It was like, hey, here's the game you remember as a kid, but we're going to slap some prepubescent jerk in there to <laughs> throw off the flow. So it's well, not. It was kind of it was kind of for kids to like, you know, adventure books to get kids reading about right. their video games and stuff. Right. So um, I, I think my middle school had one of them, too. Uh, evidently, they only used um, third party games because uh, you know, maybe they didn't want to get sued or something like that, but, they couldn't um, afford Nintendo's licensing there, Yeah, there was no, like, Super Mario version or anything like that, so, but that was kind of cool. I remember, um, back in grade school, I used to read a lot of the, uh, Choose Your Own Adventure books. Oh, yeah. Uh, and there was a few Zork-themed Choose Your Own Adventure books. Oh, yeah? They were great. Oh, uh, my favorite one was the, uh, Space Vampire one. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was great. I remember the time tunnel, that was cool. Oh yeah, it was cool. I liked that one. You had to crawl through the tunnel and it was mm. like, Oh shit, I'm gonna get stuck in this tunnel. Oh wait, no, it takes me your time. Yeah. Sure, why not? Those books were get great because for the video game generation who already was choosing their own adventure. Right? <laughs> exactly. I don't think you can shoot that side. Yeah. There you go. I can't switch my gun hand. You can get... I can oh, only shoot go. from my right hand. Kind of Mega Man-ish. Yeah, a little bit. There's a couple of things that are kind of Mega Man-ish and Metroid-y. Can I get through that? Do this, like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Should I have gone down under? Uh, yes, no. actually. Oh, okay. really? I, I didn't think you could. Uh, now, the other button, the B button or whatever, the opposite button does oh, yeah, uh, yeah. grenades. Yes, okay. And that will that would have kill the there. bosses and stuff and these weird... Oh, this is the last room yeah. before the jerk bag. 
Do I run out of grenades? No, I don't think nope, you do. they are infinite. But they also, unfortunately, don't juice up. Which is both good and bad, honestly. Because on one hand, they never become stronger, but they also never become weaker, so they can ultimately be your fallback weapon when all yeah. crap breaks loose and your guns well, are coming That's what I did for this boss. I just went all the way through and then used the grenades. Blast the space! Oh. The Borg wants you! Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes. So apparently when the boss fight occurs, the walls disappear. Suddenly you can walk all over the place. It's a beautiful, okay. beautiful thing. It's kind of Fester's quest -y. Yeah, you know, that's so why I think you say that, actually, because it's the, the same, same company, company? and uh, they use a lot I of the same mechanics that Fester's quest. Get out of there, quest, get out of there. Like, get Fester's out of there. quest uses a lot of the same mechanics. You oh, you can. And you will. No! Yeah, you got it. He wants you to think about what he's doing. Understand him. Brain balls. Become friends with him. Fails they will be bouncing of the first kind. Alien meat <laughs> bouncing of the second kind. Pretty nice and easy first boss, wouldn't you I, say? Yeah. Not bad. I, I really didn't now understand you put me the little mechanics. Turtle dog. When I first played, I didn't understand the mechanics and and the weapons and stuff. Um, I still don't understand the pause leave? menu. Can you hit pause? Yeah. So I didn't really understand how the start menu worked. Like. How do you select weapons and shit like that? Like, this is for the vehicle? Basically, the top screen section is all the enhancements you find. So as you get new things, they'll show up on the different markers. Okay. Right. Bottom stuff is your gizma bubs, things you find in the second, those second rooms, right. the dungeons and yeah, all. Yeah, we picked up some of those homing missiles. Mm -hmm. So, actually, now, those, are, those are actually like, like a sort of, I can't remember what they do. I think they're like three-way missiles. Okay. But you select it there. Is that for running around in your suit? Only when you're in the tank. Um, so when you select it and then you're in the tank, you push like up or down, down and B, and it will release the weapon that you selected. Okay. Oh. And it, oh. they generally come in handy at very, especially the lightning bolt. Whoa, that's cool. That. Okay. Oh, so that up. oh, wow, it uses three. Yeah. Because it shoots three out. All yeah, right, they right. each have their own personal levels yeah. of, of juice, juice looseness. So you don't want to <laughs> just assume one-to-one -one for everything. Right. You'll regret it. So now the goal of the game is to figure out what you do with your new toy right. to get to the next section of the game. So evidently, um, later Oops. on, they introduced a map, and I don't yeah, know. I don't know what. Blaster Master Overdrive did it. Oh, well, yeah, it was on. Sequels? It was on WiiWare. Hang on, I got some. Basically, what happened it. was. Uh, yeah, Brown was playing it not too long ago. Um, right? Basically, if I'm, I'm not, maybe I have to be a little bit off, but I believe it was like a com the company that was a party that used to work with. Remember Victor Ireland from Working Designs? Yeah. His crew, when they left Working Designs, ended up working on Blaster Master started, Overdrive, uh, getting it over here. Um, Gaijin. Gaijin works. works. Yeah, yeah. And Blaster Master Overdrive was the first game they put out. Yeah. Uh. Very fantastic game, actually. It was they basically took Blaster Master as it is here. They remixed it a bit, changed like a like a few of the of the tank items that you could earn, and essentially just remade the game with a couple of enhancements, including a map. Um, fantastic game. I am the, a huge the fan only of it. thing that I read was that it was true to true to the same feel, and it was challenging, but the controls were lacking. Yeah, because the problem is. If you're watching this, if you've played a Wii, use the Wii mode as too. the NES controller. Yeah. It uh, actually ah. has a strafe button, which is actually very important and necessary for the game. But the strafe button is the trigger. Okay. So oh, trying it to doesn't use, really work. It works, but it's not comfortable working. Yeah. yeah. You trying to hold the Wii controller like that and yes. use strafe. I, I always hated that. Always hated that. The worst. But and, but and there's there's a lot of. Well, console, you know, we, um, well, I guess you can map the, the buttons in some games, but there's a lot of Wii Wear games. Just that like, ignore him, run, run, he's a jerk. Just go. Trying. <laughs> so you're basically in an oddball oh. castle. I, don't, I understand how this map links together, which isn't a bad thing, it's just strange. Like, now you're in a castle. Which, for the record, the first level you were outside with a blue sky. Yeah, I After yeah, finding a truck underground. Yeah. That's, see, I think that's where the Japanese version makes a little bit more sense because you're just defending a planet. You're starting out from right. a cave. Yeah, that makes sense. And you're outside, and then you go into a castle. Mm -hmm. but Whereas J this is like you go underground, and then you're outside. Jason, and finds, and Jason <laughs> finds a tank, 
in an outside wacky cavern. Well, you know, they did the same thing in Castlevania where, like, you had parts where you were in the castle and then all of a sudden you're outside or, yeah. or on grass or something like that. But that made a little more sense yeah. because in Castlevania you'd be, like, on a rampart. You, you were in the, yeah. in the castle. Yeah, right. yeah, that's true. You could geographically associate that you ha were outside with grass because you were up in the corner of the castle. Or yeah, like, on, like, an like like upper garden or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this game is just... You're in just a bunch of weird places. Oh, good job. And the fact that you start out with a tank underground and the plutonium boss apparently lives underground, none of the locations ever make sense. Well, clearly that box of plutonium came up from from underground, so obviously it would make sense. That's true. That's Honestly, and, you, and you're going to fight yeah. the plutonium boss at the end of the game. Honestly, I always had a weird yeah, conspiracy theory about this game anyway. I played the I feel like Jason's dad was actually a nuclear physicist of some sort, and the plutonium boss is his mutated father. <laughs> maybe. And that's, you just have to maybe, maybe you're projecting. I don't <laughs> Yeah, maybe. My, it all makes sense. Apparently, my dad is a mutant nuclear <laughs> physicist from maybe. the past to mm. also you cook. You have to defeat your father. I guess. Kind of like the idea that he's a mole man that has plutonium is a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I, like I am going to inject right? these animals with it, and then build a All bunch right. of crazy robots and it's put like, them the cat. It's it's like Cake Boss, but he has plutonium. Mm, He's plutonium boss. Cake Boss. Be familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia! Ah, no, God. <laughs> yeah, that's a cheap jerk right here too. Yeah. Those assholes. And for the record, they are all over the freaking place. You know remember, like, they're not just here. I have to say, the controls for this game. I mean, jumping around with the thing, it's very forgiving sometimes. Sometimes, but, but sometimes some you continue the, to roll when you don't expect to. Yeah, well, it seems to me. Yeah, but you can account like but you can get used to that. You yeah, can get used yeah, to that. Used to it. But it's also uh, the like. I think you should be able to stomp on monsters like like Goombas, like oh, Super Mario Brothers. You I would think that, but they're all like mechanical things. So if anything, like they're not organic. Oh, they're uh, supposed to be mutants. That's what I would think. I don't know but that they're really mechanical. They I mean, it's metal. Is that what is that what you want to say? But literally every enemy you fight that's not a boss is metallic. Yeah. Like okay. every, like the end the bosses are. That's what I found weird. Like he's a plutonium boss, who yeah. apparently implies mutations. But all the opponents are metallic and robotic, so it's like right. he only wants to mutate super monsters, but he wants to flood the world that you inhabit with robots well, that I whatever. guess are powered right. by plutonium. So, yeah, that that I guess that I guess I see what you're saying. But the, it did. Wow. But it also just seems like it, it seems like it would cost yeah. him a lot more money to finance this facility. <laughs> to use robots where if he's use... driving around in like his castle on the second stage, you really think like he's worried about that shit? I don't know, man. Money or no, dude, dude's a criminal fucking, organization. Dude's a fucking pimp, all right? I mean, you don't need to worry about that. He's a weird ass guy. So, you want to hear about the April, April Fool's Day hoax? For this? Yes. Yeah, so, in uh, uh, on Wikipedia, I saw that uh, there was an April Fool's Day hoax in 2010, the year that the uh, Master Blaster Overdrive came out. Okay. Um, so Master Blaster Overdrive came out in February 2010, and then uh, shortly after the release, Sunsoft released a um, a uh, uh, what's that? Uh, these things are coming back. Yeah, so, just, yeah, just yeah, basically yeah. try to forge through as best you can because they'll regenerate, and those eyeballs are just going to start pouring out. Oh shit! You're only and just I'm to let you know in case you're concerned items. about it. I think this may only be an item room. Like I don't, I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure if the boss is in here or not. Then so again, it there. yeah, there you go to the left there. Up, oh, up. Oh. oh, I see. All right, I'm gonna blend it in for me. All right, so Sunsoft. Oh, there's an exit. Yeah. So Sunsoft made a. a um, Ooh! All oh, right. No, I walk over. Oh, you probably uh, had to. I thought you could have broke the rocks. Break I don't the know. rocks. Oh, or this. Oh! It worked. See, I told you. Oh. Hug them walls, oh. man. Wow. Okay. In your face, Sunsoft. Yeah, it's pretty good. So Sunsoft had a press release in uh, late February 2010 after the release of, of uh, Blaster Master Overdrive. And they said, uh, the guy who, what's his name, who um, was the founder of Gaijin Victor Works, Island. Victor Island. He said, hey, I was looking through all these old storage boxes of backed up code and promotional items, and I found seven unknown cartridges for a um, a prototype game called uh, Operation Fred or something. What was it? <laughs> it was it was a uh, it was um, Blaster Master. 
Run away! Destination Fred. Blaster Master Destination Fred. Fred. You shrink down to the size of a pea and go inside a Fred's stomach. <laughs> it's inner space, essentially. Right. So, um, so we have reached uh, destination, Fred. You're inside the frog. So basically, so basically, he was like, "I have to get this out on uh, on Virtual Console." So, some, so Sunsoft released this press release in February, saying we're going to release this on uh, in on April 26th for 500 Wii points. We're going to put this on Virtual Console, and Gaijin Works is going to polish it up. So then, come April, um, no, all these. Not. All these game journalists were like, well, we've never found anything in any old back issues or video game archives about this game ever existing. So they kind of called that it might be a hoax. And then in April, Sunsoft updated, which you can still find if you go to the Wikipedia page for Blaster Master in the references, you can still find the link to the Sunsoft website where their press release is still there today mm. and says all they did was they updated the top of the press release saying this was a sunsoft's 2010 april fool's joke thanks for playing <laughs> it's sliding okay. bastards that kind of makes me glad i didn't know about that till you now because i'd have been pretty pump. pissed it's kind of it's kind of funny i wonder if it was uh because of the critical uh i was look, i would have looked the critical forward. reception for the poor controls in uh blaster master overdrive uh. we're like fuck you guys i would have looked forward to adventuring in the in the fred swollen rectum to find out the secret of <laughs> well we don't know that that's what it was but i i mean i'm hoping that's what it was but, I mean, come on it would have been it would have been a letdown if it oh, wasn't i come haven't on. seen frog the insides of a frog since high school exactly <laughs> It's like the next level of prepubescent adventure. Yeah. Oh, so this is long. Zelda. Yeah, a little bit. Use right. the other uh, button. No, I just try. run from him. He will oh, drink yeah. your milkshake. I don't need that. <laughs> He'll drink your milkshake. So basically just, um, I have a feeling this is actually the room you want to be in, too, like for the yeah. boss. Yeah, I think, just, I think he's right. Ah. Hey! Oh, it's not him! Oh, it's not Suckle! <laughs> For now, <laughs> you're a horrible, horrible person. Actually, I bet this is it. This looks too suspicious. But it's not. But it's not. It's a bunch of bullshit. Time to look up some maps. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're gonna be that map guy, let me do the running around and yeah, stuff. Well, yeah, we should switch off. And, uh, let me finish this area and then we'll switch off. One through the place you want to kill that guy because he got cool shit. Sometimes like gun or health. Sometimes. And he's a gunman. Damn the man. <laughs> going run around shooting. Did you go balls, up? Going around and going down. Was yeah, up was the fakey, I think, was the fake out room, wasn't uh, it? Was Ooh, that's, those are beautiful. If you can get to that, that's an instant max out. Okay. Um, So I guess hit left. Maybe you'll get it there. Yeah, okay. Come back up and around. Oh, uh, yeah. See, every time, man, those things are freaking right. gold mines for that stuff. Oh, get Shit. out of here. Look out for the gremlins. They wear dirty robes. Oh. They're from Space Invaders. I love how yeah. everything has the same bullet, too. Yeah. They, they're they all retrofitted with the same firepower. Well, you know, they got to save yeah, you gotta <laughs> memory on somewhere. Something. Yeah. I thought this guy was a pimp. He got use the same bullets. Hey man, Get what these... the fuck have you done hey, lately? What happened to my, uh, Apparently power not run thing. a plutonium base. <laughs> yeah, the power thing disappeared. Yeah. What the fuck? And that didn't max out shit. That only gave him wow. four bars. Hey, four I is played... better than the two. Hey, yeah. It was over a decade ago. The important part is it had lots of jub jub and it looks beautiful shooting out Whoa. weird freaky bullets. Whoa. What Fuck! <laughs> so I guess it's a specific arc. There's no, there's no randomness to yeah. it. So that's good yeah, for, to, for, to setting up shots. Yes. Yeah, Here he set, is. Set from All a right. distance. All right, use your grip. Gripping stuff. Okay, so Blaster Master is a little laid back so far, but there's a boss coming. What does he look like? Will he be harder than the first boss? Will Matt ever give up the goddamn controller? Look, actually, he did for a while. We had to download a different ROM because the first ROM was weird, and then Jack was playing for a while, but we cut that out, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Join us next time for Purnell and Matt Play Games.